In this lesson, we will cover how to create a cloud workspace. Similar to local workspaces, I will have a uh, follow-up lesson about cloud workspaces later in the course. This one is just to this one is uh, here to give you an introduction to what cloud workspaces are and how you can go about creating your first one. Similar to local workspaces, cloud workspaces group your repositories together. But one of the benefits of using cloud workspaces is that you can share it with other people and you get even more information about pull requests, uh, works in progress, and you can link to even issue if you're using any of our issue tracker integrations. So before I get into any of that, though, in a subsequent lesson, let's first create a cloud workspace. And so there's three main ways which I'll show you. You can create workspaces from cloud workspaces from the new tab view, from the workspaces home view and also from any local workspace. All right, so here we are in the new tab view, which you can access by clicking this plus icon at the top at any time in the application. There's two buttons. There's one to open workspaces, which will take you to the workspaces home, and there's one to create a new workspace. So as you might imagine, you can click this button and choose to either create a cloud or local workspace. In the previous lesson, we had local workspaces that we went through. Here, you can choose to create a cloud workspace. And just to bring the thought, uh, just to show you other the other method really quickly, is you can click this icon here in the top left corner. This will open the workspaces home. And this is where you can choose to cl uh, click to create a new workspace. It's the same menu. Choose Cloud Workspace to create a Cloud Workspace. And let's actually go through and create um, a Cloud Workspace for our example. Let me move my Loom icon over here. Hit Open. All right. And this will be our GKC 101 demo repo, okay, our demo workspace. Okay, so here's where the, the key differences from local workspaces kick in. So first, if you have added other licenses to your Gitkraken organization, you have the ability to organize those users into teams. And so say I wish to provision a number of repositories to the QA team. So one of the benefits of using a cloud workspace is like I can say, hey, these are all the repos that I care about for this project. Please, especially if you're a, two, a new team member, please clone these repos and you now have context into what those repos are all about. So that's a great feature there. You have the ability to share with teams and cloud workspaces. And then you can connect to any of these providers. So you can connect to GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Azure DevOps. We also support some of the installed versions of these. I, I already have GitHub set up, so I will select GitHub. And from here, you may browse for, you may filter the list of um, repositories that you have on your account. So I'll filter for docs and I'll just choose a subset of repos here. Now I don't work with these repos too, too much. So I'll still click to create a cloud workspace and then I'll go into another uh, cloud workspace to demonstrate some of the other features here. Okay, so I have created my cloud workspace you are automatically dropped into the focus view, which shows you all pull requests and issues related to uh, things about you. So are these pull requests assigned to you that mention you? Uh, if you have your integration set up, any GitHub issues that you've created or are assigned to you will show up here. And any works in progress that you have for your repositories will show up here. I'm gonna jump ahead to the repositories view. Again, I'll come back to each of these in a subsequent lesson. But what I wanna drive home for now is that the repositories tab will show you all the repos located or grouped together in your cloud workspace. If any of them are not already cloned on your machine, you'll have shortcuts to perform a clone. You can perform a multi-select to either um, locate these repos if you already have them cloned on your machine, or you can choose to clone them down to your machine. So that's a nice handy way to provision repositories to your team members. And then click on any one of these rows to open that repository up as a repo tab in Gitkraken client. Uh, this is one I have open. I have a merge conflict going on right there. And then I can flip back to my cloud workspace to then um, get more information about uh, currently checked out branches. If I want to open the remote directly in GitHub, I can go ahead and do that as well. So there's way more that can be done. Oh, <laughs> and lastly, there is one other way to create a cloud workspace. Uh, so you can in the previous lesson, we talked about creating a local workspace. Well, I failed to mention in that video, but on purpose, that you can click to create a cloud workspace. 
So this repository, this um, local workspace has 50 repos in it. And if I click the button to create a cloud workspace, uh, Get Kraken will tell you how many of each service, how many repos of each service that you have, at least the ones that we support for, for now. So we have GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. I have 37 repositories that belong to GitHub, uh, six that belong to GitLab. Um, currently with workspaces, you can only connect to one service at a time. Uh, however, we are exploring on expanding capabilities of workspaces. But for now, let's say I want to choose GitLab. I can also um, take out any repositories that perhaps I don't want to include in this cloud workspace. I can choose to create the cloud workspace and very similar to what happened before. I have a list of all my pull requests, all my GitLab issues right here in my focus view. Here in the repositories tab, I have a list of all my repositories. I can see which ones I still need to clone down. And then we even have merge requests available here. And Git Kraken Insights is not connected, but we give you a shortcut to connect that as well. But that will be for a subsequent lesson. This lesson has been long enough. I'll see you in the next video.